The LAPD may not be able to charge him, but we are able to shun him. And he should be treated like the leper, the social leper and criminal he is. People don't want to be linked with Diddy after the hotel video surfaced, showing him touching Cassie's herps. He seemed to have been going through a difficult few days. Oh my. In actuality, no one is being held responsible who was close to Diddy, witnessed some of his activities and said nothing. Mary J. Blige and Jennifer Lopez. You shame yourselves and all of you bitch that won't speak. I hope you get charged right with them as an accessory before, during, or after each crime because everyone that's been around Diddy seen Diddy be. Some argue that since Diddy has expressed regret and Jennifer Lopez is purportedly one of his fans, he should therefore be given some leeway. Little one, we've all seen the apology video, even before we discuss why some people believe Gilo is supporting Diddy. It's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. But sometimes you gotta do that. I mean, I hit rock bottom, but I make no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy. I'm going to rehab. I had to ask God for his mercy and grace. I'm so sorry. But I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. Particularly for someone who assisted Diddy in covering up, falsely accused someone else, and aided him conduct a felony according to the law. This is one person who should know about the problem, Sweetheart. But let's not forget that only a few weeks prior, Jayla was often changing the copy of different products that bore her name. This will make it clearer to us why everyone is so interested in Jilo's predicament. A few others said that discussing her resulted in content limitations, and even more claimed that she was the reason they were suspended. In addition, she was aware that she was under investigation for her potential role in the 1999 Diddy incident, which is why she was suspending individuals and adding copyrights. She was out here making sure creators were blocked for, well, essentially just mentioning her, rather than responding to the reasons why people were calling her out. So why in the world would she decide to go that route? Unless, naturally, she sees nothing objectionable about the details that have emerged about Diddy. Lil Rod said that in his lawsuit on the case in which G. Lo was intimately engaged, Diddy had bragging rights about getting away with crimes. And the one that J. Lo was significantly involved in and complicit in was one of the ones he was boasting about. In the end, it was her who entered the club while concealing Diddy's weapon in her handbag. Even though she knew it was against the rules. Recently, Natalia, the woman who claimed Diddy was responsible for the 1999 popping incident, promised to keep going until Diddy and J. Lo were made to pay for the destruction they caused to her life. Shine was prosecuted for the identical offense. ...woman who he sh** in the face. In that 1999, December 27, 1999, Club New York shooting. I have told everyone ad nauseum since then, even the surgeon who did the surgery to take the bullet, I got sh** in my face with a 9mm, For background, it should be noted that in December 1999, Diddy and J. Lo went to the nightclub Hot Chocolate at Midtown's Club New York. They were there to commemorate the impending release of Shine CD as well. At 2 minutes to 2 in the morning, Diddy unintentionally knocked a drink out of Matthew Allen's street name, Scar Hand, as he was drinking. Indicating that he didn't think it was a mistake, Scar questioned Diddy about whether he had accidentally dropped his drink. Diddy reportedly flung his money at Scar like confetti with the intention of sending a message as well. Scar then saw it as just another slight. At the time, there were rumors circulating that Scar had thrown large bundles of rubber bands at Diddy. Therefore, by scattering money, the two men were attempting to make a message. Club patrons had to fight for their money, but it was given to them quickly. Unfortunately, the disputes did not take long to get hotter. Three club attendees were hurt when bullets were fired, and Natalia was hit once in the face. When things get risky after running a red light in a 1999 Lincoln Navigator, J. Lo and Diddy were apprehended by the police. According to police records, they had a stolen 9mm that was discovered inside the trunk. Rather than being detained for the altercation that occurred in the club, 
they were both arrested for possession. J. Lo was then placed in a cell and left there for the next 14 hours, during which she would scream hysterically and groan incoherently, according to a police source. The police said that J. Lo's mother was becoming very furious and screamed at her in Spanish, saying things like, I told you not to get involved with him. While Shine, whose record no one had ever heard, was determined to be involved to the crime and served nine years in jail. Diddy and J. Lo were permitted to carry on with their lives. He basically accepted responsibility for the event, although Natalia, who was struck in the face, has stated since 1999 that Diddy's gunshot was the reason for both her wounds and her passing. Diddy was now standing by J. Lo. Many people insist that Shine and Diddy are still dating, despite the fact that Shine was accused of fabricating an accusation. In reference to Shine, he was among many who responded to Diddy's apology. Shine expressed his distaste for Diddy and compassion for the people he felt Diddy's actions had harmed in a shared Instagram post. Shine said, I strongly condemn seeing Diddy Com's disgusting actions, which were seen on that tape. As the Prime Minister of Belize, as a global citizen, and as the father of a beautiful daughter, I have no business associating with someone who persists in this terrible behavior pattern. My prayers are with Cassie and all the others who have come forward with horrendous allegations against Mr. Combs, he uttered, making it clear that Cassie has his support. Recall that Scene had earlier declared his intention to put the conviction behind him and concentrate on his work as leader of the Belize United Democratic Party. But he did clarify that he was the one who needed to step down, adding, Everyone knew that I was the fall guy all along. However, my political competitors and opponents wish to paint me as this criminal. But I had to accept the responsibility since everyone knew I was a tiny child. Everyone was aware of that. That was the narrative. All I'm saying is that I hadn't become any less innocent. Nevertheless, Natalia recently claimed that J. Lo had missled the jury. She thus desires a re-examination of the case and the realization of justice for J. Lo and the other true offenders. Natalia acknowledged her happiness at the case's revival and gave permission for the pieces to be removed from her face in order to give ballistics evidence. For example, even if it means taking her own life, she is ready to have portion of it removed from her face so that it may be used as evidence in the trial. Natania said that more people believed Diddy at the time of the event than she did. But at the moment, she was powerless because first, Diddy was stronger than her, and second, she had a mother's duty to prioritize her children's safety. However, she now believes that justice must be carried out in the end and that J. Lo must give an explanation for her role in the jury's dishonesty. The way that J. Lo, the youngster, has been acting since the case suggests that he doesn't feel guilty about aiding Diddy. Rumor has it that she keeps supporting Diddy as a result. Many believe she ought to discuss this, considering that only a few weeks earlier she was the subject of an entire documentary. In fact, a sizable segment of the world's populace is wholly opposed to Diddy's involvement. It is desired by many that J. Lo take ownership of her conduct in order to dispel any future perception that she is one of Diddy's backers. She must be perspiring profusely, darling, because her name appears every other day. But what thoughts do you have? Should she address the issue and let us know what her position is? Drop those thoughts in the comment section below.